Hey guys, this is Timo from Marisha Sotheby's International Realty and welcome to an update of a past Two Minute Tuesday episode that I've done and it centers around how foreigners can own property in Mauritius. Now, um, previously I alluded to the, the various schemes that you can buy into, those being the IRS, the RES, the PDS, the Ground Plus Two and the Smart City schemes and there's a, a, a lot of information out there how you can do that. But an amendment to the Non-Citizens Property Restriction Act um, it actually came about in, in, in 2022, um, but up until now those guidelines haven't been in place and now finally those guidelines have been released and we can share the details of, of that with you. Now what this uh, specific amendment targets, it, it allows existing permit holders to purchase property outside of the schemes that I've just mentioned. Now, for me to make 100% sure that I don't get this wrong, I'm gonna just read this to you and, and the various uh, permit holders that qualify. They are the main holder of a permanent residence permit, the main holder of a residence permit issued by virtue of a previous purchase, purchases into those schemes that I've already mentioned, the main holder of an occupation permit as an investor, professional or self-employed, the main holder of a short-term occupation permit, the main holder of a family occupation permit, and the main holder of a retiree permit. Now, there are specific criteria that, that this uh, property has to meet. The property cannot be over 5,276 square meters. In Mauritian terms, that's 1.25 RPAR. And that can be a, a vacant piece of land, a villa, a standalone house, or an apartment or penthouse. It cannot be bigger than that. It cannot be uh, agricultural land, cannot be a plot of land out, uh, bigger than that size I've just mentioned. It definitely cannot be um, leasehold land, so it excludes all beachfront property that is currently leasehold. And um, so yeah, so very specific in terms of, of, of who qualifies and what the size of the property uh, must be. Then also, also uh, very specific is the, the price point. The price has to be over 500,000 US dollars or the equivalent of a foreign hard currency. So it can be in, in euros for, or pounds, for example, as well. Um, normal uh, taxes in Mauritius supply, 5% transfer, 5% uh, registration duty. Usually that is shared 5% uh, by the buyer and 5% by the seller. But over and above that, the, the buyer has to pay uh, a further 10% tax. And um, yeah, that means you're really gonna wanna want this property. It's, it's, uh, it's not for everyone. And, and what this amendment to the, to the act really targets is for the permit holder who's been here for a while, who's identified a, a house that they really wanna buy, there's a willing seller and um, outside of the schemes that we've, we've mentioned. You, you are paying a premium for it, but in the same sense, you are able to buy a family home within an existing res residential area, which isn't usually available to foreigners. Now, um, I hope that clarifies that. Uh, the EDB has finally put the, the, the process in place. There's an application a process that we have access to that we can assist you with. And uh, yeah, at Mauritius Sotheby's International Realty, we really look forward to, to taking you through this process, identifying these properties with you. So if you're one of those residency uh, permit holders and you want to go through this process, please contact us. My team and I are ready to assist you and we look forward to, to guiding you um, in the coming weeks, months or years. Hope that helps. Look forward to uh, chatting to you again soon. Have a great week further and until next time, cheers.